And a dry break between Foch Garcia and Dave Hemma. Foch now at the table. Even race to five, guys. This is a third, fourth place match. And the winner of this match will go on to play yours truly. That's right. I have uh, won four matches today, and I have lost one match to Johnny Kang, who's in the hot seat. So uh, I will play the winner of this match. Well, Dave already uh, carving a hole through this rack. Nice shot on the four. He looks like he looks to be in stroke. He looks to have the look already. So I think if he happens to win this race, I better go up and tell him a joke or two uh, when I start my match with him. Do you have good jokes? Uh, maybe I should tell a really bad one, and then mm. that'll just throw them off. Maybe. And the opening rack goes to Dave Hemma, house pro here at Hard Times Billiards in Southern California at this Sunday nine ball tournament. Non-handicapped, three foul rule is in effect. Jump cues are allowed. Race to seven was on the winner side and a race to five on the one loss bracket. New rule here, house rule. If the nine ball goes in either of the lower right hand corner pockets, it will come out and be spotted. Any other pocket that it happens to go into on the break will count as a win. Thank you, Barbara. You're welcome. I practiced that. <laughs> you rehearsed it. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, safety battle getting started here. Safety battle. Foch successful in his attempt to hide the one. Dave's got a pretty easy kick. Yes, he does. He'll be able um, to hit this for yeah, sure. Yeah, but I, I suspect. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's how you want to hit that. That look sure that. is. Look at that. I was nice thinking, shot. I was thinking Foch is just going to have an easy shot to uh, the bottom right-hand corner pocket after that, but Dave hit it the Home right prayer. way. Yes. Dave hit it the right way. He came underneath that one. So he's definitely seeing the angles right now. And that was and a good Foch shot. returns the favor. Yep, that's Safety right. Safety battle. That's a that's a important shot to know in your uh, in your shot vocabulary, Barbara. Just 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 letting you know right there. And actually, I've seen you play that a couple of times recently. And another good hit by Dave. Hiding the one ball again. Boy, this is real. This is great. 
two masters at the safety game, the oh, kick safety yeah, game. Yeah. You know, I did that with Allison Fisher the first when I played her. We had a safety bottle, safety kick. Back and forth. Oh, really? Yeah, about five, about five, five of them. I knew I was. I'll tell you, if 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 I came away from that match with nothing else, I made her make a face. <laughs> Because she kept thinking she was going to get ball in hand, and I kept kick safe well, and right good. back. That's yeah. good. It's always nice to feel like like you've accomplished you've something. You've had some measure of success with a player like that. Absolutely. <laughs> so. Uh, duck and cover again yeah how about that and the four and the six are tied up the nine and the uh, eight are a little problematic and look at this and another good one well yeah i mean dave has no choice but to thin this ball and send the one ball hopefully i think he wants to bring the one ball behind underneath the three, the three? He's, yeah no he's gonna he's gonna oh, look at this up. Look at this. The Look other way. That. Wow. That was for cue ball control right there. Dang. Ha, Fach is shaking his head going, dude, what's it take? You know now, now Foch. See, a lot of these, a lot of these kickouts have been fairly textbook. But now Foch is is looking. The the one is it is like in the middle well, of the he, table. Yeah, he's jumping. So there's no reward for something like that. Very. Look at this. Look at this. Well, look. Yeah, but no reward. Look. Oh, I know. I know. But it was pretty. Two balls covered by the seven. It was very. Pretty. It was a very it was a very hit. pretty kick. I mean, jump. Excuse me. A jump make. A jump bank make. Gotta love it. I know, I wouldn't be happy to, Foch, if I were you. This is not where you wanted to end up being. Dave Hem is just sitting in his chair kind of grinning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just want to actually FYI, you guys. Um, Johnny Kang d did not want to be streamed today. Uh, and... Although oh, look at I had... Uh, Whoa. What a kick that was. Man, he almost made that. Too bad. Although so. I had uh, Marie chat him up a little bit and, and ask him to play the stream, the, the last match, if it's a final match on the stream table. Um, uh, he, he did agree. He said, if I'm in the finals, I'll, I'll go on the stream table. But I just want to let you guys know, just in case... He tries to pull a move at the end mm. of the day, you know. Oh, I gotta go. I told you I didn't want to be streamed, you know. Oh, well. You don't know that he's so, gonna do that. Johnny Kang, um, uh, although he says he will play a, a, a finals on the stream table, has not, uh, we haven't got to that point yet. Yeah, so let's we just, haven't. Let's just and I'm wondering, I'm wondering what, what uh, Mr. Hema is, you know what? He missed that on purpose, I betcha. Because who no. wants to deal with are that 8-9? Look, that's 8-9. What are you going to no, do with this 8-9? No, eight, nine? no, 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 no. You, these guys do not miss anything on purpose unless they're playing a lockup safety. You can't just... Or hustling. And <laughs> Dave well, Emma is not he's hustling, hustling. Foch right now. <laughs> 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 okay, I've been reprimanded. You, yeah, I'm telling you. You get paranoid. You think I miss shots like that all the time? And I, and I swear to God, I don't. Unless we're gambling. <laughs> no comment. No, no, no. Because the 8 has a pocket. The it eight, does? I believe it does have the corner pocket. I don't think so. He's looking at it. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm just saying, if you're Dave, why bother making it? Make the other guy deal with it. Well, 
Once again, payouts for this event. Um, Tens of thousands of dollars. Oh, no. Wrong. No, actually. Okay, he tried to break that, that aid out. Uh, it'll be uh, fourth place, $40. Third place, $60. Maybe it'll go in on the side off the nine. Look at that. Second place, 65. I I'm sorry, second place, 95. And uh, third place will be $155. I called it. That was a it. great shot. That was a great shot. Great call, I mean. Ooh. There we go. Look at that. 1-1. One, one. Nice out. It's so odd that the ball had a pocket, but he was looking at it so strange. Maybe he was just at the wrong side of the seven or something. Well, no, he had to, he had had it had to come off the nine. It had to go off the nine into oh, the side. Oh, it slid off the nine. Okay. Yeah, All that right. was the shot. That's where he ended up. Right on. And he hit it so that it would just slide off that nine and go into the side. And he hit it soft and nice and... Nice and soft. Ni and nice and soft, yeah. Like the toilet paper? Yeah, pretty much. And the wing ball flies into the devil pocket. And leaves him no shot on this one ball. Now, he can push out. Since this is the first uh, ball of the rack. Or he can try to clip the edge of this one ball and bring the cue ball back up the table. He's going to push out to make it just a little easier to play that safety shot. Dave gives it back to him, smiling. Says, I don't want it. You deal with it. Uh -oh. Yeah, this is not really what he wanted to do. Uh, is it going to get to a rail? Yes. Not bad. Not bad. Well, Dave's going to play safe. Yeah. I mean, it didn't end up... It wasn't what he intended to do, particularly. He just, he just mishit it. Dave plays the... the Take care, Spanky. Correct safety. Bye, Spangers. Spanky's off to work. All right, Spangers, take care. Don't get sucked up into one of those, uh, what do you Vacuum call it? cleaners? Tornadoes. Tornadoes, okay. That's right. No more tornadoes. thought that was only for the Midwest. I tell you, man. The world, it be just a change. Yeah, you know just, what, I'm going gonna, gonna gonna to remove the logo here from the, from the view of the pocket. Because I said so. Oh, that's way better. What is? The position of those. We should have done that a long time ago. There we go. Well, I think I, I zoomed in earlier because I, I... Ah, nice shot. Look at as this. As we got through the day, I wanted to, the table to be a little closer to view. All right, now, this is a little one of these little touchy shots because you've got that nine ball. I think he has enough, but I think he's going to have to mass a slightly. He's going to put, have to put just a slight bit of ink. Nope, he's just going to play safe. He says to heck with it. All right. Yeah, these guys are both really good safety players.
Nice well, attempt. Well, yeah, you know, Foch tried to tried to kick that in. Yep. Dave can come uh, cross uh, side with this shot if he wants, or play safe. I'm sure he's going to play safe. Uh oh, too far, too far. He's saying slow down, ball. Now, if your name was Daniel Daniel Bush, you would spin this too into that double pocket or Foch Garcia. Perfect. Some outside English helps spins that ball in. Wow. He's really flirting with that upper right hand corner pocket because I've seen a couple of balls that were like if he'd hit them any harder they wouldn't have gone Nice stroke, come around. This could give him a one rack lead in this match. It's looking that way. She's going to come back here for this nine, put some draw on this. Yeah, Foch is going to take down game two. There you uh, have it. I'm sorry, rack number three to make it 2 1. And there you have it. I'm going to take a short break. Right on. I'm going to need to actually take a break uh, soon. All right. Maybe warm up a little bit because I'm going to yep. be playing the next match. So uh, we'll see you soon, honey. All right. I'll be back in a few. <clears throat> Score now 2 to 1 in a race to 5, even race. Both these players, uh, when playing novices like myself, are required to go to 6. Uh, but against each other... They play an even race to five. This is a one loss side match. Good shot by Dave with a bridge there. Got he's got enough angle on the two to bump up for the uh, three. Oh, he decided to play it. You know that's a smart way to play it. He, it gives him more to, more freedom with the cue ball, and he doesn't run the risk of getting hooked on the nine. Overcut, but look, Dave's rewarded. Foch actually uh, works quite a lot for Ariel Carmelli of Car uh, Ariel Carmelli Cues. Yeah, he's been working with uh, Ariel for about 10 years. In fact, he's playing with a cue that he made. Uh, beautiful aerial cue with uh, very, very attractive mother of pearl inlay, um, ivory points, ebony, beautiful ebony cue with uh, ivory points and, and some really nice windows too. And that cue is in the game. Virtual Pool 4. It's in the game. You should check it out. Uh-oh. Oh, 
he's he's going to end up jack. He didn't want to hit that six on the way back up. Uh, he just wanted to play an easy shot on the five in the side. He was getting the, playing the short side of the five ball. And now he's jacked up. And he's playing it insta, instant safety. And he's overrolled it. Dave may very well have enough of this. And then some. And so he may, oh, he's on the wrong side of the seven. So he's got to come up and down the table or just draw back. Yeah, just, just stun, stun up, and uh, that was a stun run shot, basically. A little bit of, a little bit of draw. Uh oh, Dave just got Dominguez. Foch is going to play a safety here. He's going to roll the uh, cue ball around the top. Uh, right rails and land safely behind the nine. Like so. Might have hit that eight ball a little too thick. Or just hit the whole shot a little too hard. Dave has won the first game of this whole set and has not won another one since. It is now three games to one. Foch has widened the gap and caught a bit of a gear. I wouldn't say I actually caught a gear because if there have there have been exchanges here in this uh, match and a lot of lot of innings. Not not perfect pool here today on this hot, humid. Sunday at Hard Times Bellflower Nine ball goes down but doesn't count Uh, the bottom or should I say top two two pockets the top two pockets up there uh, do not count on the break for the nine ball only the uh, the back four pockets or the front four pockets from your perspective I can almost bet Dave's going to go for this combo. There's really nothing else to do here. I don't know. That's why he's a pro. <laughs> and I suck. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, I'm going to take a little break, and I'll be back. Uh, I have to make a phone call.
And uh, and then I gotta get, I gotta get a little warm up in before I start start my match. So thanks a lot. Talk to you soon. All right, it's the barbecue back here, uh, standing in for Daniel for the POV pool party here at Hard Times Bellflower. And joining me in the booth right now is none other than Greg Feruda, last year's Tad Cup extraordinaire winner. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Who's in the chat room? Don't know too many people. <laughs> So Greg, uh, Cyrex in the in the chat room had asked earlier when you were playing your match, you know, if you were yeah. playing with the with the Tad Q that you won last year, and then you informed him. Well, no, that, that was me the that one you I won it with. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. but you were playing with a Tad. Yeah. Um. So obviously that means you have more than one Tad Q. Yeah. Yeah. Two. <laughs> Two. He's getting a collection of them, folks. <laughs> I wish. Yeah. Nah. I haven't hit one uh, yet. I would like to try one out. You know, they hit pretty good, and I'd say in terms of non-low deflection cues, they have, you know, fairly low deflection. I think it's because he has, uses real good shaft wood, you know? It sounds like it. Well, they, they certainly, you know, catch a pretty price. Yeah, he has quite oh, a look collection at that. of shaft wood. Look at that. Yeah. Dave's not playing his best. No, he hasn't been today. Um, although, well, what I've observed, and I could be wrong, but on some of the shots, I think he has not taken enough time, and he's just kind of gotten up oh, yeah. a couple of strokes and assumed it was going to go in and and has missed it slightly, you know, yeah. just enough. On this table, you can't take no, anything No, you can't do that. <laughs> no, <laughs> not on this. It's devil table, man. Yeah. It is brutal. I like playing on it though, and I'll tell you why. It really makes you bear down and focus. Watch was telling me he loves his table. Yeah. He's like, this table's easy. <laughs> oh yes, I know. He said that to me too. He goes, "What are you guys talking about? It's a table, you know." Yeah. I'm like, Making "Okay." It look easy. <laughs> All I know is that Bustamani said that this was the toughest table he had ever played on ever in his entire pool career. Yeah. He, he was not happy with this table. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure he wasn't happy, but he's still playing good. Oh, it? absolutely. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He was killing it. Well, hopefully Daniel will get by this next match. Yeah. And uh, Daniel was waiting for them, huh? Uh, yeah, Daniel went to go warm up. And wow. yes, you're correct. I believe Daniel plays the winner of this match. Which will pro he'll he'll probably be on the stream table here. Oh yeah, I don't think there's any other matches going. So. And who's in the? Oh, you're in the hot seat. No, no, no. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, I got seventh eighth. Uh, Johnny Kang is in the hot seat. Oh, Johnny Kang, that's right. Yeah, he took Daniel out seven <laughs> zero. Yeah. Uh, I think I got him in the first round, and I missed a eight ball to get on the hill, you know, full, uh, hill, hill against him. Wow. Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty stupid of me. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. You were having a rough time on this table in that last match that you played, I, I, yeah, I noticed. Both of the matches I played on this table. Yeah. I'm not good on tight pockets. Not right now, anyways. I used to be better on this table for some reason. I can't do it anymore. I think my uh, speed's not accustomed to the pocket, so I just... You know. Yeah, it was speed. Yeah. I did notice that, you know. 
So I either hit it too soft or too hard. I can't get that you know, right speed where just everything slides in. Well, yeah, and that and that is so critical yeah. in this game. Uh, of course, that, that speed is. Yeah. <laughs> on these tables, especially because if the ball is, you know, within a diamond of the rail. Yes. Like the center of the pocket, you almost have to catch the tit to go in. You know. Yes. If you it's outside of the pocket, it rattles. If you catch inside too far, it rattles. That, that's right. Especially that, that upper left hand. Oh, yeah. It is especially difficult, yeah. that pocket. Yeah, well, Gus was telling me that the two pockets on the right side were the toughest pockets. Oh. Oh, no. Sorry, on the left side. On the, the left yeah, side, yeah. yes. Yes. Yeah. I would agree because yeah. more balls get missed in those two pockets. Well, the, the match right before this, uh, or not the match right before this, the first couple of games. You gonna go eat? You gonna go eat? I'm gonna go. All right. Uh, for, uh, Saturday? What is it? Yeah, just give me a call. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I'll be here too. Bye bye. All right, folks, that was Hiroko stopping by the booth. Yeah, just to say goodbye. Saying goodbye to Greg. A little scheduling going on. Yeah. She's uh, doing lessons on Tuesdays for beginners. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, that's terrific. You know, uh, we get a couple people that are like APA and, you know, they yeah. want to. They want to, you know, step their game up a little bit. And sure. Not, not, not just for, you know, drinking anymore. <laughs> well, that's good because the one, the one season that I played APA, I was a little disappointed because that is kind of what it was all about. Yeah, it's and, and, just and, and, and I was just like, I'm not, I'm not here for that, you know? <laughs> yeah. I think if you want to play... Hmm. Hey, where's the yellow POV pool sheets? Yellow. Over there. Earlier. Over there. <laughs> Daniel getting ready to go warm up here. Took a little break. Oh yeah, he's got a big match. Yes, he does. Either either player, right? <laughs> That's right. Oh, I was saying that earlier in this match Not here Greg. between between Dave and Foch. Um, Action donkey must be Greg. What's, what's that? Action donkey. Ah. Yeah, I bet that's Greg. <laughs> They, they had a safety battle going on that was spectacular. Oh, yeah. It was kick safe, kick safe, kick safe, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really nice. Dave's got something here. It looks like the nine ball might go yeah. to make the one. I would. Oh. oh. Tried it and missed, but look at where he leaves it. Yeah. He wanted the cue ball to stop. I'm sure. Can't fly at that without having a, you know. Yeah. Plan B in mind. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Which is what I tend to do a little too much sometimes. Yeah. It's what well, gets me into trouble. You know, it's actually really difficult. That's one of the difficult things about nine ball is thinking of the, the two-way shot. That, you know? That's right. Well, the, the two-way shots that are, you know, that come up that are real obvious, yeah. th I'm okay with those. I'm talking about the ones that aren't so obvious, oh, yeah, yeah. and I am just, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go for this shot, yeah. and I'm just going to, I'm going to shoot it like I've made it, and I'm not going to worry about whether, if I miss, where my cue ball is going to be, oh, yeah. and then that sometimes can get me into trouble, oh, yeah, because yeah. if I do miss it, then I've, sometimes I, I, I'll sell out, you know? Yeah. Oh, nice, nice, day. Look at that. I know, these guys are... Their control is just fantastic. Oh yeah. Feels like <laughs> it feels empty without mm -hmm. spank in here. Yeah. She gets spank on the mic someday. <laughs> oh, he has been. Oh yeah. You know, a couple of times that we've yeah, been down I was, here spanking. I was watching him in Japan. Yeah. No, I I I lost uh, to Dave actually. I lost in the first round to Johnny King, so I had to <laughs> uh, come back from the B side. It's kind of rough in this tournament. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 
Well, I won my first match, so that was good. And then, uh, let's see here. Who did I play second? Yeah, no, I only won one match. Yeah. Had my opportunities, too, but I started getting, I started falling asleep. Oh, yeah. It, it was hot, and I was just, I'd eaten a little something, oh, yeah, and I was sitting. You were playing on that yeah, side. Yeah, I was sitting at the table, and I was just like. And you're playing Raphael. And yeah, you're nodding off. Like, you know, two miles an hour around the table. Oh, <laughs> no. No, I was nodding off. And I was like, I should have had him. I, I mean, I had the match. <laughs> I just gave it away. Yeah. It's a funny thing. Raphael actually plays better than it looks. Though, yes, you know? that's yeah. true. He can play. Absolutely. Now, see, he shot that too fast. Yeah. You know, he, he yeah, just, but he just kind of got up there and... You know, stabbed at it, kind of. Well, you know, when he's playing good, that that just goes in. But right now, I think he's a little tentative. Kind of. Uh, but boy, that right but now. but again with Dave, that look can change right in a second. Oh yeah. And he can go into steely Dave mode and yeah. And watch out. Yeah, you run five racks in a row. Absolutely. <laughs> Especially when he starts getting towards the end of a match or, you know, it looks like he has a chance to yeah. close it out or whatever. He, he, he turns it on, turns the heat on. He was telling me he's having trouble just finding the motivation to win, you know, just to try real hard like he used to, you know. Well, now that's an interesting comment, and yeah. I know that that happens with players. You know, it's one of the things that always used to get talked about uh, to Allison Fisher. Oh, nice shot. Oh, oh right. man. Wow. Because she... Looked like he caught that ball first. ...was, yeah. you know, on top so long. Oh, yeah. So long. So many years. And I know that that's been asked of her many times. <laughs> How do you find the motivation yeah. to stay number one for that long? Oh, yeah. To keep that level of intensity and focus... To, I'm gonna win every single flipping, yeah. you know, tournament. Oh yeah. Because she, well, she both she and Karen Core, you know, over the years have won. I mean, you used to always see them in the finals. Oh yeah. That's that's that was the WPBA really. Yeah. Well, you, you, you know, they had a lot better paycheck than here. You know, Dave and Botcher fighting it out for oh, like forty dollars. Yeah, absolutely, like absolutely, no question. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a little more at stake. That's for sure. <laughs> That's for sure. I think if there were, you know, there's 10 grand on the line, they could find motivation. <laughs> but I really don't think it was the money with those two. Oh, yeah. No. It, it really was the, I want to be number one, and I want to stay number one. Yeah. You know? And that takes a, a particular, you know, mindset. Yeah. For somebody, for sure. Let's see here. What's the score? Uh, let's see That's if I can uh, update the score three, here. 3-3. Three. It's going to be 3-3. Three, three. Oh, oh, yeah. 3-3 three, three right now. All right, let's see if I can't. Aha, we've been a little lackadaisical on the scorekeeping today. Uh, we apologize for that. There we go, give you a little updated uh, everything. And if anybody would like to donate to us, we sure could use it and would greatly appreciate it. You can go on to povpool.com or you may go to, let me see if I can find this thing again here. Or you can do this, send a check to POV Pool Media, PO Box 250, La Cañada, California, 91012. And if you donate $25 or more, you get a $25 voucher for a Kamui tip. Oh yeah, that's, that's a pretty good deal. Isn't that great? So you really don't lose out. And uh, you can take that voucher to any certified Kamui tip installer. And, uh, How much are Kamui tips? Are, Kamui tips, are they $25? Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe $25, 35 uh, I think some of them are more expensive now than others. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I know that all of my all of my cues now have Kamui's on them, and oh, yeah. and um, I really enjoy them. Uh, Daniel, uh, in addition, has his Kamui's. Uh, we've really gotten to like them a lot. Oh, yeah. You know. Yeah, 
you know, in Japan, almost everyone, wow, nice shot, everyone uses a Kamui. You know, they use Kamui. Oh, well, I'm or sure. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm sure. Like, I think I'm the only one that uses a Tad right now. <laughs> and I have some uh, Tad tips yeah. at home, actually. Oh, there's one more tip out in Japan that's pretty popular. It's called the Ray, Ray Max or something like that. Oh, really? Yeah, it's too, too expensive. <laughs> ah, it's like, oh, somebody was saying it was uh, $40 now. Oh, no, no, that, that's what I was, when I was uh, commenting about how much Fosh and Dave are playing for right now. Oh, 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 I got it. Yeah. I got it. Okay, you've got some fans here in the chat room there, Greg. Hey, Deck. <laughs> you should just drop by here. You're only five minutes away, right? <laughs> And hi to Bacon out there in the chat room. Bacon, uh, a Bacon. regular POV pool chat room enthusiast. Oh, yeah. I think Dave's uh, hungry or something. <laughs> Looks like he uh, was pretty frustrated there. Yeah. Well, boy, that can mess with you, I know. Uh, if I get too hungry and the stomach starts growling, boy, that's not good. But I also don't like to play on a full stomach. You know, if I'm too full... It's not good. Yeah. I get lazy. Yeah. It's, it's like, like there's a little edge that I, you need. I used to be bothered with that, but then, you know, I've, I've been playing tournaments so much that I just got used to just, you know, playing whenever, even if I'm hungry or, or full. Well, or that, yeah, there is something to, to be said for that. Yeah. I, I hear you because uh, playing on the uh, Pro Tour, it's really brutal. Especially oh, yeah. if you're over on the one lost side, you you yeah, need you, go back you to back to back have to back. that's right. Yeah. You better learn to. If you eat, you have to eat snack. In about five minutes. That, yeah. that, that's right. Eat yeah. quick. Rest. Take a rest. Get some water. Whatever you need. Down some vitamins or whatever you yeah. know, and do it quickly because you don't have a whole lot of time for anything else. Yeah. It is. It's just like wow. Kind of like that Thursday night tournament here, because if you get on the one lost side in that that sucker, oh, yeah, you well, know you're you're going to be playing a lot of you know, like back to back matches yeah. for Actually, the rest I have of the fun evening. On the one lost side I the love Thursday. Thursday night. Yeah, because you know it's real short races, so I have to try real hard to not give up anything. You know. The, oh, absolutely. But, yeah, anything can happen yeah. in that little short race. Well, looks like Dave might be able to get ahead here. Yeah, well, I'm gonna pocket the six on the side and just come right back on down for the seven. Uh, a little bit thin, but that should be all right. Yeah, he should he should be all right here. Just has to settle for a little bit longer position. Yes. Back in perfect line now. He's gonna play a stop shot on this eight probably and. There you go. Off we go to the nine in the corner. And he's going to, looks like he's going to take a one rack lead here in a minute. Yeah, and I think that's the hill, right? He's not going to six against Fox. Oh, that is correct. Yeah. That does put him on the, you are right. I forgot all about that. All right. Dave Hemma on the hill. Which means if Daniel wins his match, that he's no Daniel will then be playing uh, Dave Hemma. Oh yeah, that's what that means. Yep. Hemma on the hill, house pro here at Hard Times Billiards, Bellflower on a Sunday night. One flying into that side pocket. Oh, this is looking really bad for Foch. Yeah, he did the same thing against me. <laughs> mm. He gets on the hill and he gets the pretty solid break. That he wouldn't make a ball in the break. Yeah, isn't that interesting? It's like, okay, now I'm going to show you what I got. He has one ball to get, get on. Oh, look at this. Uh, and he's playing with a little... A little, little bit funny. Yeah, that's not what he wanted. He's, mm, a little bit tough here. Yeah, it's pretty tough, actually. 
Yeah, I can't tell from here, but it looks like that scratch in the side pocket is probably no, a... I, I don't think he has a scratch. That's not the factor here. The cue ball is going to come down table, and the 7 and the 6 come into play if he puts well, outside on it. And if he puts inside on it, it's really tough to make. So. Oh, yeah, he's really... Uh, yeah, he's going to play safe. Oh, yeah, he played safe. Park it behind the 9, hopefully. Yeah. No reason to rush the win here. So now, do you live over here now, or do you go back no, to Japan? I'm still living in Japan. Yeah, I'm just here for a summer vacation. Oh, summer vacation. What a treat. Oh, that lined up dead, I think. Yeah, that's not, that's yeah. not a good leave. Not when, you're da not when your name is uh, House Pro Dave Hema. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, he has a cut at it. It might be pretty difficult, but I'm, you know. Yeah. I think he's going to make it, if he goes for it. Yeah, if he goes for it. I can go for it. Says, I'm just going to park it up here. Yeah. Good shot. Doesn't of course, doesn't want anything funny Fa happening. Foch has got options here, though. He can try to maybe park the queue behind the six down here. Uh, I think he's going to send the three uh, oh. one rail down table the center of the rail and then have the cue ball try to get him to a six ball. But eh, I don't think it's going to get under six ball. It looks pretty thin. Looks like he might be trying to bank this back up into the upper corner. No, he's just playing. Yeah. So he is coming right. Oh, he got I called it. Yes, I get a dollar. Do I get a dollar? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, always, dollar. I'm always betting on... <laughs> I'm always betting on something. I've lost too many dollars here on the stream, though. Oh, the music is on, yeah. Yeah, the music is on, folks, here in the hall. Uh, 80s music or something. <laughs> I think I heard this song about 50 times at hard times. For oh. some reason, this always comes on. Well, somebody must like it. They just keep putting yeah. it on the jukebox. Okay, Dave Maybe Hemma. They only have, like, 10 songs on the jukebox. Oh, really? I don't uh, know. <laughs> oh, boy. Gives ball in hand back to Foch yeah. Garcia. Foch could uh, tie this puppy up. Yeah, he has a good chance here. No, yes, he no does. No trouble balls. That's right. Just got to maintain his cue ball control, and uh, he could run this out. Yeah. And we would, and oh yeah, Dave's looking over there like, oh, whoopsie. This could be not be good for me. Yeah, he's looking pretty good here. Yes, he is. He's gonna get out. He's he's a, he's got all the natural. The angles are all right there. Did he come far enough? Yep. Yeah, that's good. Yep. He's, he's fine. As long as he doesn't go too far on this shot, he's fine. Yeah, correct. Yeah, you don't want to eight. overshoot yeah. this one. Yeah, that's oh, fine. he kind of undershot it, though. No, he's not happy. Uh, he doesn't like it, but he's going to make it, I think. He's going to make it, but where's that? how's he going to hold that cue ball? Well, you just settle for the same shot, you know. He didn't settle for it. No, no. I, I wondered if he was going to do that, come around. Huh. I guess he doesn't like to roll it and fire it in. Do it well, he's got time. pretty much got the same shot here. That was just practice. The eight ball was just practice for this shot. Yeah. <laughs> Did he get it? Yeah. Oh, boy. Look there. at this. Okay, we got some excitement now. Uh, hill, hill. Hill, hill. For uh, loser gets fourth place, I believe. Uh, third or fourth? Fourth. Oh, the loser, yeah. Yeah, the loser gets fourth. That's correct. All right. Hill, hill. We have a match. Winding down this Sunday evening at Hard Times Billiards here in Bellflower, Oni Eddie Regwin uh, hosting this uh, stream with POV Pool here. Daniel Bush. Yep. And the BBQ, and I'm here with Greg Feruda, last year's Tad Cup winner, <laughs> extraordinaire, from Japan, spending the summer here in J from Japan. 
I don't think I'm ever going to shake that nickname. <laughs> oh, yeah, probably not. Probably not. Things kind of tend to stick around here like hot streaming coffee. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like 50 and they're going to be like, Tag Cup Champion. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's right. <laughs> Oh yeah, I know that guy. That's I'll that Tad Cup winner. Before everyone else does. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Oh yeah, that guy that won the Tad Cup. <laughs> <laughs> Marie's hoping for a split. Yeah, Marie, Marie, <laughs> tournament director here today. Marie Lim just got back from Vegas. Actually, like an hour before the tournament started, and so she's been a little. <laughs> She's been a little uh, ready to go home for quite some time. <laughs> yeah. It's been uh, one of those days for her. We won't ask how late she stayed up last night in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> I said we won't ask how late she stayed up last night in Vegas. Oh, she didn't sleep. Well, there you have it. Oh, for 48 hours. No wonder. Oh, 38. Okay, she's running on fumes. <laughs> that passes, like, watches. Does it? Yeah, I think it does. It has, it's a little bit blocked, but it should go. Boy, I don't know, Greg. I can't tell. It's the angle. Look at this. Oh, mm. I, I, didn't, I didn't think it did. He seemed to think it did it. He seemed to think it passed, though. He shot it like it was going to pass. Yeah. Wow. Dave got a little bit out of line here. Well, you know, he, he's been doing a little what I call the Wheaties factor, overshooting a little bit. Yeah. <coughs> Either Wheaties or donuts and coffee. I'm not, I'm not, oh, the, well. <laughs> you don't think he would go for the nine ball here, do you? No, no, no. He has a clear pocket, I believe. I think he does, too. But it's just not an easy shot. Well, he's definitely uh, not getting down and two-stroking it. Yeah, this is a shot you got to take your time. It might be his last shot. Well, this could be the game breaker right here. No. No good. Could very well be a game breaker. Well, he got pretty fortunate. Kind of yeah, he got pretty fortunate on that leave. Well, Foch could play a safety here, I think. You know, did the five. Yeah. Try to get him by. Come back down balls. underneath yeah. the seven. Oh, it could be the seven, or he could bring it back up table and try to get him by the eight and the six. Just depends on the angle. It's hard to tell from here. Yeah, it really is. That's why we need that overhead camera. Yeah. Of course, you start adding cameras, and then you have to have different equipment. <laughs> yeah. Look oh, at this. Wow. Oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Dave is now setting his cue down against the wall. Hill, hill, Still. folks. Oh, it's like he, he's pretty well in line here. Meanwhile, Daniel uh, Bush is a little bit out, I wish. warming up over on table uh, seven. Well, that's funny too. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no. Still work to do here. Now, there's, oh, he's gonna, yeah. he's, yeah, there you go. He's just, okay, folks, you have a winner. Foch Garcia over Dave Hemma yep. in a race to five. Hill, hill. Hill, hill. And coming up, I believe Daniel Bush will be playing uh, Foch then on this streaming table. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> 